Hello, my name is Rebecca Shear. I am a nurse achieving my master's degree at the College of Nursing at University of Texas at Arlington. I am currently in a leadership and healthcare systems course, and we are doing a book review. My book is Influencer, The Power to Change Anything by Carrie Patterson, Joseph Grenny, David Maxfield, Ron McMillan, and Al Switzler. Um, I have included info about each author. They are mostly um, social scientists with emphasis on behavioral, behav uh, behavioral sciences, psychology, business, most of them professors of, of a multitude of universities and co-founding members of organizations that um, specify trainings in performance and um, organizational change. Most of the authors were also um, protégés of Albert Bandura, who is a significantly um, influential psychologist in behavioral sciences. So the purpose of Influencer, the power to change anything, um, the authors learned of the gap in research regarding how people can influence change. The purpose for writing their book was to help people understand how to manage elements in their lives that they can, that they can control and how to change what is not effective. The book promises that almost all the profound, pervasive, and persistent problems we face in our lives or our companies and our world can be solved. The book notates non-traditional tactics for achieving change and influence on behaviors. A quote from the book, to the degree that people understand new strategies, their ability to make their own life better grows exponentially. To the degree that people understand the forces that are already influencing their behavior, they are more empowered to choose their response. Target audience for this book, the book is dedicated to anyone who has the power to influence. Um, this may include professionals in business, research, science, healthcare, etc. Quote from the book, we dedicate this book to influencers everywhere, to the tenacious scholars and practitioners who through the careful blending of theory and experience have not only added to an ever-growing knowledge of how things work, but have also curbed the cynic smirk, restored hope, and make it possible for each of us to become a powerful agent of change. The strength of this book I have noted to be that it is written by experts in behavioral sciences, psychology, performance, and business. They tackle business strategies while addressing thought process and action. The focus of their theories is that you should mainly focus on a few things at a time instead of being overwhelmed with a bigger picture. They encourage influencers to present a vision to motivate others by helping them to believe their efforts will be worth it and helping them to believe that they have what it takes to achieve their goals. Each of the proposed strategies in this book were inspired by renowned innovative researchers who have mastered behavioral change and influence. Examples being Dr. Donald R. Hopkins of the, Car of the Carter Center who solved the case of the guinea worm, the largest human parasite in the 1980s. This eradication of the guinea worm helped millions um, and prevented millions from suffering and experiencing pain. Um, their main influence, Dr. Albert Bandura, um, who utilized his experience in psychology and behavioral sciences to advocate for human cognition when it comes to influencing change. Um, a quote from the book, Bandera found humans to be quite complicated. It turns out that they think, humans observe, cogitate, draw conclusions, and then act. All this is important to know because if you want to change the world, you eventually have to change how people behave. And if you want to change how they behave, you must first change how they think. Weaknesses of this book I've noted to be um, that knowledge is powerful, but unfortunately in this book it was hard to follow. Um, and was a little bit overwhelming. Their broad target audience made it a little difficult to apply specific strategies for um, a specific specialty or specific profession. Their unclear expectations for the contrasting individual versus team-oriented standards, this made it difficult to understand really what the expectation is of you, know, you personally or um, if you really required an entire organization to make a big impact. For success. Also, the unrealistic claim that anyone can change anything. This, this seems unrealistic for a multitude of reasons, but mainly just because it doesn't really outline a clear expectation again. Suggested further actions. 
the biggest takeaway from the book is that you are, if you are seeking effective strategies for organizational influence and change, um, you should establish the most obvious, profound, and problematic behaviors that you would like to change. Um, identify by way of research or personal experience behaviors that oppose those bad behaviors and will um, create productivity or success within your organization. Experiment with those vital behaviors in a lowest environment and measure the impact of those positive changes. Follow the strategic um, structural ability map to change your environment. I have depicted the map here. It discusses um, the purpose of personal motivation and ability, social motivation and ability, and structural motivation and ability. Further suggested actions would be establishing motivating factors and creating a comprehensive vision for whoever is involved in um, creating change or impact within your organization. Establishing barriers um, and utilizing problem solving to overcome those barriers. Reward those who participate in your initiative. Um, also utilizing support and resources to progress in your initiative. Was the objective achieved in this book, Influence or the Power to Change Anything? Due to the nature of the book, it was written, um, inspired by other, other scientists and other researchers' work. So essentially, yes, it was really achieved before the book was even written. So each strategy that they proposed was already proven to be successful. So really handing those strategies over to others, essentially, will have achieved their goal. Um, the book does uphold its promise to provide a wealth of knowledge on impact, behavioral change, detailed strategies on how to initiate change in your personal and professional life were outlined. Also, they utilize scientific and evidence-based practice research studies that, again, have proven to be successful in changing behaviors in a multitude of settings. My recommendation for the book, I would recommend this book to anyone who has interest in the power of influence who is interested in changing elements of their own personality or interested in changing elements of others' personalities or behaviors, um, anyone in a current leadership or management role, also anyone driven by research in science, psychology, behavior, and business. Thank you, this concludes my presentation um, of Influence or the Power to Change Anything. I hope you found this to be valuable and I encourage you to discuss in the comments if you have any thoughts, concerns, or questions. Thank you very much for watching.